Hello friends, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and office expert. I have been conducting training on Microsoft applications since 2008. So this is my ninth year. My mission statement is there's always a better way. I believe in making complicated things simple and simple things even more simpler. In this video, I'm going to introduce you all to Power BI. Let's see what this video has. In this video, this there are five modules. Let's look at each of those modules one by one. First of all, we'll understand what exactly the Power BI is. For the beginners who have not heard Power BI at all, for them just to let you all know that Power BI is a new Microsoft application which helps you to do data analysis. We'll get to know more about Power BI in later in this video. After knowing what is Power BI, we'll actually see the practical demonstration of how to import the data from different sources into Power BI, followed by how do I present that data in the form of different charts, different diagrams, different visualizations and data sets. So Power BI has got certain excellent visualizations. So we are going to explore those features in this video. After this, we are going to talk about what are measures. If I talk about visualization, not everything can be shown directly or easily into Power BI Canvas. So in order to show that, we have a special technique called as measures. We are going to see in details about what are measures and how do we write tax formulae. After that, we are going to talk about how do you publish this Power BI to the cloud. Everything that you see from importing data to create visualizations, writing measures and publishing to Power BI Cloud, everything we are going to do it uh, practically. So please hang on to till the end of this video. You are going to learn a lot about Power BI. And let me assure you that once you go through this entire video completely and properly, you will be able to use Power BI immediately. So let's wait till the end. So. Like we discussed, the first module that we have is what is Power BI? Let's get into the details of Power BI. First of all, Power BI is a business analytical software provided by Microsoft. Anyone can go to powerbi.com and download this software. It's free of cost, available on powerbi.com website. It helps you to analyze different kinds of data you can absolutely import the data from anything and everything. There are various ways available in Power BI, which helps you to import the data from different sources like your social media, like your Excel file, your database softwares. We're going to see the entire list of what are the ways with which you can import the data to Power BI. Power BI was released initially by Microsoft in the year 2014. So you can say 24th July 2014 is was the release date by Microsoft. And as mentioned, Microsoft has made it completely free. If you are using Power BI, you can actually use different kinds of dashboards to understand the data. Slicing and dicing the data becomes very simple. It is simple drag and drop feature in Power BI. So uh, as I'm saying this, I'm going to also show you these features practically. Power BI comes with three subscription, Power BI Free, Power BI Pro, and Power BI Premium. In this video, I have not given the detailed description of what these subscription contain. You can go to powerbi.com and find out the details of these three subscription by yourself. Let us understand more about Power BI. Like I said, Power BI desktop software is completely free. You do not have to pay a single penny to download this software. Just go to powerbi.com and download the software. This is the first screen that you see on the right hand side. That is the first screen that you get to see after launching Power BI desktop software. The second component of Power BI is Power BI service. Power BI service as in it's a cloud service which helps you to, you can use Power BI service on different platforms like mobile device, tablets, PC, all different platforms which exist. And you can see the reports, you can work on that data as you can do normally on cloud or maybe on the computer. So 
it's available on different platforms as well next is power bi gateway this helps you to synchronize the data to power bi cloud in this video we are not going to talk in details about power bi gateway that's a lengthy topic then we have power bi embedded power bi embedded is the analytical software where the reports that you have can be embedded on different platforms like uh, websites and different services again this is not explained in detail in this video next is power bi report server this is something that we are going to discuss in detail because this is one of the very important features of power bi how do we create reports online and how do we share the reports how do we download the uh, powerpoint template from the report server all these things we are going to discuss in details then we have power bi visual gallery again power bi has got a lot of visuals a lot of fantastic visuals this is we this is something which we are going to see in brief i won't be able to explain in details about how to import the custom visuals so following features are going to be discussed in detail first one is power bi desktop and power bi report server these are the two features that we are going to discuss in details the rest of them uh, are for detailed training programs so these are the key components which we are going to discuss in our power bi video let's move on to our next module importing the data to power bi in this video we are going to primarily see how do we import the data from excel file and uh, when we talk about importing the data in excel file we will understand a table feature in excel and how does it help in importing the data to power bi then when we import the data from excel we will see certain uh, limitations or certain ways of putting the data in excel which may not be compatible or may not be a proper data format for power bi so there is a fantastic feature in our software which is called as unpivot data we are going to see this in detail how a pivoted data can be unpivoted using power bi software then then we are going to see that if we have to get the data from different worksheets then how do we merge the data from different worksheet or from different table to one single table in power bi this is a fantastic feature that we are going to discuss in detail in power bi in the next section we are going to see how do we merge the data from different files which are there in one folder to one single table for an example we have different files available in one particular folder how do i get the data from each and every file that exists in that folder to one single power bi table what these terms tables and everything are that we are going to see uh, in detail in our practical demonstration so that completes our discussion about how do we import the data from excel the next thing that we are going to discuss is how do we get the data from text text file or different text files into uh, our resource then we are going to discuss a very useful feature how to fetch the data from any random website let's say i visit a website and i see a data on that website and i would like to fetch the data from that website to power bi we are going to see how do we do that so since we have seen all these things we are going to see one by one 